What is going on everybody? I'm your average gamer. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day. So for anyone that doesn't know, I just recently started playing Overwatch. I just downloaded Overwatch 2. This is my first experience with it and I already have a huge problem with it. But before I talk about that, I want to touch up on just a few things. One of them being about the video I made the other day about this game, talking about how I'm having a great time playing this game. And that is still the case to this day. I know it's only been, what, a day and a half, maybe two days. Uh, but my opinion hasn't changed. I'm having a great time. I'm still learning. But overall, I think my experience with the game has just substantially increased overnight i really do think that i have gotten a lot better just because you know i care to progress to understand the game a little bit more if that makes any sense now by all means i'm not trying to sit here and say that i'm great or the best or even good at the game but if you care to watch my other video compared to this one i think everyone can just unanimously agree that over the course of just a day or two i have gotten to understand the game way better after messing with the sensitivity for a while I finally got comfortable with one and that was one of my huge things i was talking about in my last video about how there's so many sensitivity settings and it's just so overwhelming that is not really the case as much anymore you can find one and get comfortable with one the huge problem i was having that i did not know about is that i was playing with my brother who is on pc and for those who don't know i play on playstation 5. i had no idea that when i was doing the cross-platform games you know, because I was queuing with my brother, again, who is on PC, that I was getting into PC lobbies, which was then giving me no aim assist whatsoever. So that's where I was having this huge problem was one game I was doing pretty well, the next game I would have this, you know, the same settings and I couldn't hit nobody. That is also the huge problem I have with this game. Now, again, a lot of people are going to have opinions about this. I also have a super biased one about that, so keep that in mind. It's just the fact that I can't play with my little brother in a game that I'm actually enjoying and that he enjoys. I mean, we can, and of course, I'm sure I can make it work, but it is just disappointing when I'm trying to play the game for, again, the very first time, trying to figure everything out, and then I realize that's something that I feel as if I really need, I can't use, which is the aim assist. I'll be the first person to tell you that I need aim assist no matter what controller game that I'm playing. Ever since I was a little kid, every console shooter I've ever played had some form of aim assist, and there's a reason for that. Aiming on controller with no aim assist is immensely hard, but at the same time, I can't really form an honest opinion whether or not it should be in cross-platform games, in this game at least, just because I don't have enough experience. For example, I haven't even used every hero in the game yet, so I couldn't tell you if, if a character was overpowered or not with aim assist or without aim assist, you know, like, so that's what I'm basing my opinions off of. But also at the same time, every single game I've ever played, it always de was determined by the person playing the game. You know, if you were good at the game, you were good at the game, doesn't matter what you're playing. I'm actually really curious to see what you guys have to say, so write it down in the comments. Do you think that aim assist is overpowered and that you agree with the ban from cross-platform, or do you think it's necessary and that every controller player needs it? I have no problem if any PC player were to pick up a controller. I have no problem playing against PC players. I have no problem getting dumped on. I just want to have a good time, and again, I have a biased opinion about this where I can't really play the game with the with a lot of my friends who are on PC because I feel as if I can't perform as well as I would like to. Now I don't have to do good to have fun by any means, but when I'm trying to shoot at a target where I can't literally hit them because my crosshair is going left right too much, or I can't hit a person that's one shot, that to me just gets a little aggravating because I don't even feel as if I'm playing the game correctly. I firmly believe that any good mouse and key player will do better than any good controller player. Because again, the skill gap is there. You guys have the movement. It's everything is there. We have one thing, which is aim assist. Allow us to aim. Yeah, our movement might be cracked some days. and That's 1% of the people. I'm your average gamer for a reason, okay? So again, these are my thoughts. If you agree or disagree, let me know. I'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say about this. Aim assist is always a huge topic brought up in every single game. One more thing, I understand how toxic this conversation can get, so just be respectful towards other people's opinions, okay? That's all I'm trying to do is just share my opinion with you. 
The whole aim assist thing can sometimes get out of hand. I don't really understand why. You know, not everyone's going to agree with you, and you shouldn't want everybody to agree with you in the first place. But hey, like I said, everyone has their opinions about something. Enough about that, though. I want to talk about the gameplay, more specifically, my gameplay. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I feel as if I had literally just woke up and kind of cocooned, like I'm a butterfly now. Uh, I'm not perfect at this game, but I think the amount that I have gained experience-wise, you know, getting a little bit better, whether it's my aim or just the knowledge around the game, has gone up so much, which is crazy to me. I'm starting to just understand the basics of the game. No, I don't have the entire thing figured out, and yes, I have a gazillion other things to learn, okay? Still don't even know every hero's moves, but I'm able to spot certain specific characters and be like, hey, they're gonna do this, and uh, their moves are, good, are this, and this is how you prevent from dying. For example, like Reaper, you know, like from day one, I was like, yeah, do not get close to that guy. It's the little things. They're knowing to uh, not shoot a tank when the medic is literally healing them just to focus on the healer. Also, one thing that I like to do is I just like shooting things because I like to get my ult up. And that's the same reason I fell in love with Soldier and why I play him so much. I do think I'm going to like play every single character eventually, but for right now, this is the only hero that I am in love with. I have played a lot of other heroes and, you know, again, I do have preferred ones over others, but I'm not going to list what my favorite ones are yet just because I, I need more experience with the game. And I always have a new fun feeling with, with each hero that I try, and I understand that's going to be a common occurrence as I keep playing this game, but there's one thing about Soldier that I just, I don't know, I really like him. His ability to heal not just him, but his teammates. The, the high amount of damage he can do to, to just take out a healer in a few shots if your shots are good. The sound it makes. Uh, you know, again, I like McCree. I've, I've played with McCree too, but he can't heal. And sometimes when you don't have a good healer on your team, you're being focused all game. It, it makes it harder for you to, to do well. And Soldier also, you can do well from a range. He's very versatile, and I see why he's kind of introduced you in the very beginning of the game. One thing that I really like about this game is as much as it is a team game, you can make some huge plays just by yourself. That change the entire pacing of the game, that allow you to push forward. I like that, the ability to just play the game and get better at the game and get rewarded in that aspect. But of course, if you're playing against another really good team, there's only so much you can single-handedly do. One thing again that I really enjoy is, say you have somebody on your team that's not so great, you can kind of carry that load. You can kind of hold the line or push forward. And that's a, that's the enjoyment that I have in this game. So long story short, I am still loving this game. And I just wish that aim assist was in cross-platform lobbies. Again, let me know what your guys' opinion is down below. And tell me how you guys like this game. If you played it before, if you're not feeling it anymore, if you're new to this, just let me know about your experience with this game or any game in general. And be sure to check out all my other content. I play a bunch of other games. If you're interested, again, check that out. Check my playlist. As always, I love y'all, and I hope you guys stay smooth. Peace.